Shamari Atapatu, I think left-handed batter who's been quite destructive in the past and, and, and bowls um, some decent spin through the middle. Anya Shrubsole, I think um, she's probably one of the most feared bowlers in the world at the moment and I think for England to be successful in this tournament I think Anya's going to have to have a, a really good tournament and um, you know, she did in 2013, she's been really dominant in the T20 format as well so I'm hoping for big things for Anya in this tournament. Susie Bates, I think you know she, her form of late um, in ODI cricket has been outstanding. Uh, player of the year last year. Um, but also her bowling in these conditions in England, I think, are going to be really suited to her. Elise Perry, I think, um, more because of her bowling. I think when for them to be really successful, I think her bowling is going to uh, be be crucial. Um, she's been outstanding with the bat as well, um, and, she, and obviously an outstanding fielder too. So Elise Perry for Australia. Harpreet Kaur, I think she's had a, a really good sort of 18, 18 months in international cricket. Um, I think she's had a really good women's big bash as well. I think people are starting to see how destructive she can be at sort of five or six and win games from there. And she's a really decent little spinner actually. Um, and hopefully they'll bowl her lots throughout this tournament. West Indies, I'm going to go for Deandra Dottin. I think. Um, uh, you know, obviously her batting speaks for itself. She's very destructive and one of the most powerful hitters in the women's game. But I think also her bowling of late has been um, really potent. And I think her in swinging Yorkers at the death are going to be crucial for the West Indies um, being successful. Miss Bar Maroof, um, I think a left-handed batter who's been very consistent um, with the bat in them. You know, batting number three and also offers a good leg spin through the middle. Um, but a good young player who I think, you know, this is the kind of tournament they need her to perform well at. Dana Van Nierkirk, I think, again, she's going to lead the team. Um, I think she's, you know, a destructive middle order bat, and, but I think um, high quality leg spinner. And I think, again, you know, you need your captain performing well. And I think um, Dana is ready to, to step up to that challenge. And I think she'll be a, a real match winner for them.